Hey guys, what's up everybody? Um, oh my gosh, it feels amazing to be in front of you guys. It feels amazing to be in my house, settled and at peace. Mm -hmm. Guys, the last couple of days have really, really, really been crazy and tough for me or for us uh, in my household because I've been in and out of hospitals and in and out of hospital, not hospitals. And by now, uh, most of you already know that my daughter Hev was admitted, uh, but I thank God, you know, we are home and she's okay. So I really, I just want to take you through what has been happening uh, the last couple of days, just to, you know, me wake up a picture so that you guys can get to know what's been happening so that you guys can also take the necessary measures and precautions if you have kids at home so all this started uh, on thursday morgan alifunga shule thursday and i went to school just to uh, get his report and all that so alikuwa na homa na homa yake ilikuwa mbaya unajua ile ana sneeze ana kohoa ako na fever anapoteza sauti anasema throat yake anasikia uchungu kimeza nini and you know such things if you're not careful uh unajua isolating him uh because of this small kids if you're not careful it's going to easily infect them unajua the viral or the bacterial whatever whatever it is so after school, I took him straight to a hospital. So went to Gertrude's uh, Children Hospital in Mutaiga. So he was checked. Nini, we can go to Najwa Pengine to me bacteria. Akafanya a bit of uh, blood tests. Nini, and everything was normal. So we were given uh, dawas. We came back home, and uh, yeah, that was it. So on the morning of uh, Friday, this was around. It was actually around 3 a.m. So, Nashika uh, Majesty, uh, he, he was a bit uh, restless. Usiku, so na pata likuwa na tan. Unama tu halali vizuri. So, nika mshika kidogo nini. So, actually, thought ni kwa joto. So, nika sema nita mtuwa sweta. Nini pengine ni joto ina msumbua. Ah, so, kushika mtuwe, nasiki mtuwe yako na fever. And I'm like, hey, this is not good. So, normally, kachukua paracetamol, kampatia fever, nika muandresi just to see if the fever will go down kidogo kidogo that's the heaven and akohoa and the cough is persistent so in the process pia heaven akamka so nashika heaven pia nasikia ai pe mtu yeye akona fever so unajua ni ku undress kupatia paracetamol kucheza nao kidogo they were responding well while we were actually active we are playing but i was like ndio isiendele ku unajua ku spike up cause not even the fever Unajua watu wei mwapatia paracetamol and then gets to a point after a couple of hours unanza kusikia wa feel poor nini. So I was like let me just take them to hospital because they were all coughing kabisa. So I went to hospital. So we do blood test for her uh, and also walifanya pia stool test. And then they found out that uh, they had, uh, she had, uh, she had, um, what's it called? She had an infection, a viral infection, and it's called adeno. If I'm getting that right, adenovirus. Okay. So I'm trying to get a virus. I'm trying to try to get it. I'm trying to get it. It's curly. It's curly. So I go to the doctor. I tell the doctor, "I have an infection. Can you arrest?" Now the doc the doctor tells me, uh, "We have to admit her because if we don't put her on sufficient." Uh, you know, energy levels, could you and lose a lot, it means that she's going to be dehydrated. Now we don't want to get to that point of, you know, now her system can't hold up anything. And uh, so I was like, okay, fine. Uh, we had to do the needful. You know, for me, it was actually very strange because a couple of hours ago, we were laughing, we were playing. And then right now I'm looking at her she's down like she's down kabisa she doesn't have energy she's she's just telling you mom ni bebe una una mweka chini you like heavy let's
unajua nataka kumweka chini na mwambia hey have let's let's walk let's play she's telling you she doesn't want to she's not eating the whole day she's been throwing up unaona tu ana energy kabisa you're trying to get everything for her to eat she doesn't want so tumekuwa husi uh, the whole day so we get admitted at night so and then kwa na mtoe wako aki unajua kidungwa mashindano huko she's crying she's looking at you straight into your eyes yani unajua ni kaila na kuambia mom how do you let these people do this to me you know so kwa hapo na mbembeleza na mbembe na mate kwa be fine nini so now she's on she's on drip amekoa hiyo maji na naona unajua yani umekata hapo na ngalio drip na ingia tu dot hiyo maji dot yani nilikuwa nakwambia ilikuwa nakupatia mpaka time frame na kwamba hii maji itaisha within 7 hours and 49 minutes yani she's just going to be on that trip the nurses keep on coming to check her vitals fever yake ilishinda at 39.5 <laughs> I felt I felt so helpless Tonight I was actually feeling so cold I was freezing ni melalapo kando I'm watching her and she just has a diaper on and I keep on checking on her Every other five minutes, let's get two fever in Kwaju. Like it's not going down. She hasn't eaten anything the whole day. She's not responding to anything. I'm talking to her. She's just looking at me. And I was just by myself in hospital. And you see, when the dad came to see her. Alikuja tukakaa akadmitiwa nini and she was not that bad but now it's around 2 am she's coughing and my doctor to ana shindwa na kama ana muongezea paracetamol nini cause fever iko juu um trying to You know, I was trying to avoid uh, calling Baha because kutaka ku cause unnecessary tension. And so at around um 4 a.m. around 4:05 the nurse comes, checks her vitals, temperature got 39 again 0.5, it been a shocker. So I, I I don't even remember how many blood pressure, how many heartbeat, how many I don't know. You can't be like, "Yo, na fuck around 100 wa uh, kipima hapo and then she's at 152 na ile kipanda 152 inenda 156 inenda 158 ina rodi tena 148 na then i got to a point it was at 172 You know, I'm, I'm seeing the nurse and anyambia tick 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 a cloth which it was warm ala sasa anyambia nimpat pat kwa nimpat pat kwa kwa mwili na mshikilia hivi like nilikuwa namshikilia kwa heart yani ndo nata mkono wangu inaenda hivi like it, her heart was beating so fast so na sa kwa hapo na try kunisaidia kumpa kwa nini then i'm like kwani what's going on like unajua 
Seti Nas alikuwa tense and all that but seeing her now trying to do the most ili nifanya nika tense unajua jo ananiambia this one nafa kwa about 100 to 120 nasa ituko 172 my baby is hot she's sweating she's not I'm trying to wake her up she's just looking at me and I remember I just texted my husband after bahasa or that they call pastorito so to can call immediately and i felt like ni mtu toka kuja kan biani vile tuliongea i felt like alikuja toka ni hug unajua akiniambia don't worry everything is going to be okay and i just let it out i cried and i cried i didn't even have the strength to tell god anything I kept on telling God just like let me be in that situation just don't let my daughter go through whatever she's going through and she's diarrheaing I'm changing her diaper I'm like what are you you've not eaten anything the whole day you know she's just losing it and losing it so hey <clears throat> So I think uh that morning my hubby comes and uh head is now feeling better I think um uh, she slept the whole night and part of Najwa the day what what was killing me mostly was the fact that napumzika kidogo nasa na kam ni kumweka dawa nasa na kuja anamweka dawa nini nini and I'm like my baby is not eating why are we giving her all these drugs you know but the situation had to be controlled jo afan pacha dawa za ku stop ku diarrhea dawa za ku stop ku make her feel ku vomit cuz now the virus had to be taken off uh, completely so yeah i think <clears throat> So as time went by that day she began to feel better so tukot na check kumpatia at least spoon moja tunapatia for like 10 minutes you know cuz now tunapatia spoon moja tunacha and I'm distracted kidogo ndio si feel pia yoku puke you give her this she doesn't want to give her that she doesn't want just we're trying to give her anything that she just take in her system so Night two, night two was fair enough. Night two was okay. My baby did not have major fever. It was at least uh 37, 37.2 your fever seemed by sana. And uh <laughs> my sister didn't want to take chances. Unajua, jo the previous night nilikuwa nimelia nini so Michelle was uh, in hospital with me uh, the entire night. And uh, I thank God for you Michelle. Sana sana sana. Yani may God bless you for that. Night three, I think we were good to go home, but the doctor told us uh I recommend to la letena. Alikuwa anasema unajua gut yake namwambia let's continue monitoring her just to make sure that she's taking in uh, enough fluids vizuri. Uh she was, my baby was also being nebulized and like kuna like a small chest infection that you kuna fanya unajua si breathe vizuri juu ya airwaves zilikuwa bit clogged so that was another night night 3 and then 
yeah, got discharged yesterday. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's all I can say. And God, as it receive all the glory, receive all the honor, I'll forever be indebted to you, Kabisa. I really want to give a big thank you to all those people who showed concern, all those people who came to hospital to see my baby. Uh, Pastor Mwangi, I I really, really thank you for, you know, standing standing with us, holding our hands. Kyoko, my bro, my brother-in-law, Michelle, my sister, she was actually there with me. She actually spent a whole night with me there. Um, Steve, Infinity Clicks, who also came to Naja, just make sure that we are okay. Enjoy to support system. My hubby, Irene, Josephine, Hila. As in God bless you all. Sana, sana, sana. As in this <coughs> four days in hospital <coughs> were not easy. And to you guys who also, you know, uh, stood with me. Naja, I got so many messages. People messaged me left, right and center. People called me. And all I want to say to you guys is that I am really, really thankful and grateful and thank you for your prayers. <sighs> it was not easy. I will not even sit down here and lie to you guys. And I really also want to say a big thank you to, you know, all the doctors and nurses who attended to my baby at Getrod's Children's Hospital. You guys gave me strength. Kabisa, Unajua, you tell me she's going to be fine. She's Nini. Unajua, like you guys have seen it all. And to tell me that, Unajua, don't worry about your baby. She's going to be okay. I think that was everything. That was really, really everything. So, baby is feeling much better. <clears throat> we were discharged yesterday. Um. Time to go? Time to go, Wapi? <laughs> Dad, are you ready for home? No. Why? Okay, let's do this. Let's pray and then we go outside. We tell God thank you because we are healed in Jesus' name, okay? For the gift of good health, we say thank you, Father Lord, that uh, we are about to leave the hospital. Thank you, Father Lord, for your father. Even as we leave this hospital, Jehovah God, we dedicate all the children that we've left here. We pray, Father Lord, that may you grant them healing upon their life. Amen. 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 Keen on checking a baby's poop, like poopui kwaje. Una japo ndo nile kam kujua. My doctor on kwana ndulaza. How's the diarrhea? Is it muka ish? Muka re ish? Is it ikona stain zadamu? Ikona nini? And I'm like, who cares to check poops? She poops. I wipe with throw. You know, as in right now, ebu ni one poop. Ame poopu ebu ni one. You understand? You want to look at the poop. I think I just. I just came to understand, of course, tukwe wa safi, unajua, siyati tunakwanga wa chafu, but now, level ya cleaning less, imefika sijui, pagani, wash our hands every other five minutes, and I really want to urge you guys, unajua, if you have kids at home, take the necessary precautions, don't wait until your baby gets a fever, may your baby starts diarrhea, ring domanze kwa wa safi and all that, ni vitutu ndogo ndogo that we take for granted, you know, that, uh, if we don't take care of, uh, we might, you know, end up in hospital. So that was it. Uh, I'm happy we're home. I'm happy we're. I'm at peace uh, right now. I'm just a bit tired, but of importance is good health. I I just want to thank God for my baby. Uh, that she's now okay. She's healed. She's doing so much better. Uh, I also want to thank him for Majakina Morgan, Majesty. All my kids are okay now and I just want to pray for, you know, all the kids that 
are out there sickly, who are in hospitals, admitted. I just want to pray that may God restore healing upon their lives. I pray for God to reverse that disease. I decree and declare that the devil has no place in their lives. I decree and declare that healing and good health will forever be their portion. Even to, you know, you moms out there who are going through these tough situations with your kids, going through different uh, kinds of, you know, diseases and sicknesses. I pray that may God continue giving you strength. I pray that may God continue holding your hand. You know, don't give up in that prayer. Don't give up in your child. Continue speaking, speaking healing in their lives. God is going to restore that in their lives. God is going to give you peace. God is going to give you happiness. As in, it's just a test of time. And I know probably Ukokwa point here, you've had enough with your child mm -hmm. and you're questioning God. But I want to tell you that God is not to be questioned. And if it gets to a point where you feel like you cannot pray, just ask someone to help you pray. You know, ask someone to help you stand in that gap. Even for our children who are prob probably not admitted, who are at home. <sighs> May God heal them. Just like the way he is healed my child. May God heal them. You know, God cannot give you a burden that you cannot handle, a burden that is too heavy that you cannot carry on your shoulders. And the fact that you're going through whatever it is that you're going through with your child or whoever that you're going through with, just know that God is in control. God is in control. God will always bring a rainbow. God will always smile on you. So I want you to trust in him. I want you to have faith in him that it all works together for your good. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And um, I want to see you on my next one. Yeah. to me. Say hi to the guys. Hi guys. <laughs> okay. Hi Papa. Chu Mami. How are you? Hi. I love you guys.